John. Looking at as well as. The, okay, uh, hi. My name is Manuel Salazar. I'm from the Global South, but uh, also an Irish person. I've been uh, here for 17 years. And um, experience, you know, in South America, also how what all, all companies do, uh, that was, you know, were there. And one of the things that I've seen in all this uh, time is that uh, we are a species that are more reactive than we are proactive. And unfortunately, we deal with the situation is when it's in our, you know, in our own steps. Uh, so the eight out of 10 people here and other things and climate change is not really a threat for them because they haven't, you know, suffered as it is. But it's very different when you go to Clontarf and you talk to people in Clontarf and they say, oh, yeah, we got a problem because they, you know, have all these floods uh, all the time. So I suppose uh, one question that I would have for you guys, because I read the model as the report, is this, and if we have an example where we human beings have been proactively, you know, acting on to try to address a situation where, to, you know, obviously it's going to affect us at some point, but we don't see it anymore, right? So, um, um the COVID situation, for example. So we all think then it was just a, uh, you know, sickness that comes to us at some point, but in reality it was we human beings, you know, uh, threatening wildlife, taking wildlife animals and bringing the disease to us. The cost of living, for example. So everything you think then is because, uh, uh, you know, the prices are rising, but it's our dependency on oil and gas than are, you know, uh, bringing those prices up because everything depends on the international markets. Uh, and the solution is to switch into renewables. So those connections over there with climate and the situations that we are suffering are just not there. So then we have somehow to be more proactive as a species actually to addressing those issues that are going to be a problem in the future, but at the same time make those connections that uh, we are suffering right now and it's also linked to uh, climate change somehow. So it's basically a question. And also, you know, you know, lay down this version. So, yeah. Thank you.